All right, let's be honest with ourselves. If this character gets a holy relic, it will pretty much shatter the entire game. And that is Ultimate Escanor, one of the most damage based character that you ever see in the goddamn game. Escanor is just such a heavy hitter in the meta. And I believe once you get a holy relic, he's definitely gonna be more dominating than the green Escanor. Just because he's just not restricted to any team like Escanor. So you can put him alongside of the Sins. Featuring the new green king who gives you a barrier. And then we also have Gother who's going to give us the rank ups for our Escanor. And we also have the nice PP rule which if we use a skill we get a 5% attack buff. But at the downside that we do lose 10% HP which I think is really good because Escanor cannot be lowered. Um, he only goes to do like he only goes like to his regular stats. So that's going to be really nice for us. So Hopefully you guys enjoy and then comment down below what do you think Eskinor Holy Relic would be if he did get one. Alright, what well we got Fraudrin Fraudrin team. Um Okay. I mean that is a little bit annoying. I gotta hope that my death damage isn't too much. That um Yeah, I gotta hope my death damage isn't too much. Okay, let's go for this then. Let's see how much damage we do. You're dot, sir. Why, bro? You're using a fraudulent team in your dodge food. Please explain. I just want to know. <laughs> like, what is there? What what made you think of dodge food fraudulent team? Like, I won't get mad. Okay. But I need to know your thought process on this team for you to be dodge food fraudulent team. <sighs> dodge food fraudulent team, my boy. You can't make this stuff up, huh? All right, let's go for this then. All right, this is damage. And take away with his gauge. And you're gone. Just for being dodge food fraudulent team, my guy. Who in their right mind would be dodge food fraudulent? Got Demon King. All right, let's see how this goes. All right. All right, so we got two of these, um, two of these bad boys. Let's go for this, and then this. This is show you the amount of damage on my Escanor. Three hundred seventy-four. And don't think I forgot about you, Melly. Ooh, that damage is too good. And the good thing about this is that um, Escanor can't be lowered, right? It's just that Eskinor is already fragile himself. <laughs> All right, so he single targets on Eskinor, which is actually amazing for me. All right, so I can just go for Eskinor card right here then. Uh, go for this and then this, and that should be GG. Okay. Yep, he should be going right here. Woo! Good damage. Good damage. All right, what we got here? Oh, we got tier. Okay. Now, they usually are... Um, they usually dodge food. So let's go for this. To get an easy rank up. Oh, he's not dodge food. Okay, that's weird. Sheesh. All right, we did a lot of damage. 
Um, Tier is super low, so his his hit's gonna hurt. Oh yeah, I might lose my character right here, bruh. Golly, all that damage. Well, I mean, we have um, we have my boy over here. So I guess we can just end up. Um, I'll probably say this and this. Okay. And then here comes the death damage. Yes, sir. Bye bye. Oh, his tear is still alive. That's kind of crazy. I was hoping tear would not be alive from that hit. Now I'm scared. The AoEs. Merlin got blasted. Golly. Andy gave me the worst possible card. I guess we can only do this then. Hopefully it gets enough to get rid of tier. Are you trolling? Oh my god. Okay, he has less cards on tier. Which is actually really good. Yo, this is kind of crazy, man. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, I'm low-key scared. Hopefully it's my other card. And it's my best card. Uh huh. I'm gonna go for this one. Bye bye. GG. He almost had me, boys. He almost had me. I was expecting this man to be dodge food. That's why um, asking her to die so fast. All right, we got another Fraudrin uh, Demon King team. Wow. And this one is old food. And he's level one. Huh. Let me see this again. Hey, okay, sorry, L. All right. So we go for this. Bro, I'll be surprised this man is dodge food, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'll be mad surprised. How did I miss every single crit? What the? Are you trolling me right now? I just missed every single crit? Bro, ain't no way he has cool sack in the back. There ain't no way. It is in no way. And he has Malaskla? So how was I missing crits? <laughs> Unless that was a high dude melee, I guess. Okay. He lost a lot of HP. Okay. Um, I didn't get sealed, so he must have been really low on dupes on Demi King. Get your get your Demi King dupes up, my boy. Get your Demi King dupes up, playboy. All right, so I'm just gonna go for this then. Uh, this and this. That's because his HP get lowered anyway. So, hey, that's tough. And then I'm getting an attack buff from um from the PvP rule. And see you, my boy Demi King. Nice try. Maybe if you had dupes, I'll have been a little bit frightened. But um he wasn't duped. So GG. Alright, we got a Demon King. Alright, 238. Which is good for me. Uh, I'll probably just end this with this card and then attack with this just to give me my give myself the attack buff real quick beautiful and then here comes Melly oh my god that was so beautiful cool 
Astros was almost died to that death damage too. Astros was almost gone. Now again, I don't care if he gets rid of Green King. Um, I mean, I always care, but you guys get what I'm saying. It's not going to affect too much. You about to get a rank up pretty soon on Demon King, so maybe I should end up ranking up on. Hmm. Okay, he didn't really get rid of any character. And he kind of gave me an attack buff too. All right, I'm just going for this then. Just in case. And then we're going to lower his gauge on Demi King. You never know what might happen. And he has one rank up to his name. So good luck, my boy. Because I could just easily just rank up into Eskinor right here. And that'll be GG. Because he only ranked up one card, so... He has one good hit. He has one good hit. Oh, he had a bronze card. That must have just came in. <sighs> Ooh, that was some good damage. And he chose wrong character. Let's go. You gotta love it, man. Love or hate it, you gotta love Eskinor. See ya. See ya, my boy. All right, we got. Oh snap! This is Goddess team. Now Goddess is is a little bit trickier. Goddess is definitely a, a pretty tricky to play against. But I'm gonna try my best. That's cause um. I definitely want to try to rank up on Escanor. But it all depends on like who you go for and stuff. So I should get attack buff right here. My Gother HP is lowered, which is very unfortunate. Oh my god. Oh my god, Margaret, where did you go? Now you brought out the little boy. Tristan. He's probably so confused right now. He just like, did Escanor? Light Escanor just blast me? Yes, sir. Light Escanor did just blast you. I, I witnessed the whole thing. Both of should be the lowest HP character right now. Why are you going after Escanor? Did you not see me rank up to a gold card? And I have the attack buff too from... um. My base stats as well. So you are going to be out of luck pretty soon, my guy. Let me go for this. And I guess we can go for our AoE right here too. And this is going to hurt. I ain't going to lie to you. This is going to hurt. Sheesh. Only Tristan survived? Oh, nah. Bye-bye, boy. GG. Now nah, that damage was crazy. That damage is crazy. All right, what we got here? Sins. Oh, okay. Love, I love beating down some sins. Um, I wonder if I should. Oh, he's red timing link. All right, I'm just gonna go for this then, just so I get a nice attack boost. I don't know. I just love this combination with like light Eskinor. Cause he just shreds like everybody. Like once he gets that attack buff, it's over. Like I could, I could just imagine, man. When this guy get like a holy relic, be disgusting. <sighs> oh wow, he actually tanked. Okay, we got another Escanor card, but I don't have a rank up. I guess the only thing is like a problem is that I am using um, Gother, which could backfire. If they always just target King, right? Cause that's the main thing they usually target. It's King. You wanna know what I just thought of? People kept saying in my comments, like, yo, why would I summon for Green King? Why would I summon for Green King? Well, I'm over here saying, yo, Green King is like one of the best characters 
for the sense team at the moment. Why would I summon for Green King? And all I see is people literally true awakening Green King in PvP. True awakening. True awakening. That's why that's why I just can't be listening to you guys take sometimes, man. Like literally, they over here true awakening green a king. Think about that. True awakening green king. They're like, yo, but really he's like a support character. Whoop de woo. And I'm like over here sitting here like end. People just don't know how good Green King is being able to have it rock his shield up at the beginning of the turn. That's a free that's that's a free setup. You know what Blue King? You know why people don't like Blue King? Because you have to actually use his attack card to set up the Holy Relic. While Green King, you get to set up your Holy Relic just for just being there. And that's why he's just such a good character for the Sense team. And that's why most teams I've been seeing in PvP is rocking Green's Green King. Golly, man. People with the bad takes these days, huh? Yeah, he's on forfeit. GG. All right, we got... I'm assuming it's going to be Green King, right? Oh, it's Blue King. See, this guy isn't a part of the meta, all right? And he has to wait for his Blue Trash King to set up. He has to wait for his Blue Trash King to set up. Now, what happens when King doesn't break my shield? Hmm? You know what happens? He's gonna wanna he's gonna wanna quit the game. Because he doesn't get his free holy relic set up. Like I do. Alright, you're gone. I'm surprised I missed that crit. Maybe I don't know. Sometimes I was debating if I should use like Roxy Link instead. But sometimes you do miss that crit. It's kinda annoying. Now look at him. He's about to try to set up his shield and try to break the shield. Oh, doesn't do it. That means he doesn't get his holy relic right there. Now he gets his holy relic. Now he gets his holy relic. Uh huh. All right, I'm gonna just rank up then. Rank up again. This is gonna be a lot of damage right here. Oh my god. You guys just don't know, man. You guys just don't know. Alright. And it's an unknown team. Does he have gate? Oh my god, okay. Um I guess we can go for this and then this. But I really don't have no cards. But I gotta get through Albedo. And I don't want to make him lose a lot of HP on his tier. Hopefully, this nukes. I miss every freaking crit. Wow. I love it here. I miss every crit. He put up that shield so fast, man. Because I, I wasn't even supposed to miss all these crits. That's why I was like thinking to myself, maybe I should put up Roxy Link. Because, bro, the amount of crits I just missed was insane. Okay. And then he targets Gother. I would do the same thing, man. If I if I seen this guy just miss so many crits, I'll do that too. Oh my god, wait. What? Alright, I'm just gonna go for this then. Oh, I should have just used my Eskino cards. Oh my god. That's tough. Oh my god, I should have used my Eskino cards. But at least I have one more life on Eskino if he double attacks with hell. I have at least one more one more life. I just realized did the debuff not work? Did hell debuff just not work on me? Okay, he AoEs. He's gonna AoE again. He gave Askner two more lives? Oh my god. 
Giving Eskinor two more lives is kind of crazy. I can't lie to you. If I was him, I would not give Eskinor another life. I would have targeted Eskinor than anybody. But now you just gave me another extra hit. He must didn't have nothing, really. All right. So now it is Nanashi versus Merlin, a green unit. I'm assuming he's going to try to delete my card right here. He got a gold? Oh, my God. Yeah, he's deleting two cards right now. And it's going to be both of my silver cards. Yep. It's always the highest difficult, the highest um one. All right, I'm just going to have to just try to stun him pretty soon. Because he has an Amplify ult, so... He has to get an Amplify card to actually do damage. Is it enough? Nope. You ain't the only one boosting basic stats. Yep, GG. So this is going to be the end of the video. Um, obviously, with Eskinor, yo, he's going to be insane when he gets like a Holy Relic. I could just imagine it now. He's probably going to be way better than Green Escanor just because this man doesn't really require to be on a specific team like Green Escanor. So when Escanor gets a Holy Relic, oh my god, yo, humans are going to be so dominating. Like, Green Escanor is cool and all, but him being so restricted to humans is just, just so unfortunate.